The best ways to save a life after trauma is to know how to tie a tourniquet and stop the bleeding. That's right. Prisma Health wants you to sign up and learn how to do just that. Fox Carolina's Joe Gagnon live for us this morning with the experts and stop the bleed. That's a campaign that that's really kind of been sweeping the nation, Joe. Yes, indeed. And this Thursday is a huge day here at Greenville Memorial Hospital, part of the Prisma Health System. And you can come inside, drop in, and you can learn how to stop the bleed. Mike Walls is with us. He's one of the great outreach coordinators for the trauma program here at Prisma. Good to see you, Mike. How are you, man? I'm good. Good, good, good. So what's happening here on Thursday? So we're having, it's National Stop the Bleed Day, so we're having a little drop-in session where people can come in and learn how to stop uncontrolled bleeding. Um, we're doing the hands-on skills for the National Stop the Bleed campaign. I mean, there's information to sign up for full classes as well. And so you have quite the piece of equipment here that shows people how to properly use a tourniquet, right? That's correct. It, and if you want to show how it works, so what can someone do if they want to save a life? Right, so first thing, you want to be safe. You can't help anybody if you hurt yourself. Um, you want to recognize life-threatening bleeding. Tourniquets aren't for every injury. It's for arterial bleeding, bright spurting blood, large pools of blood. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is, you know, go two or three inches above the wound. So you'll take the tourniquet, go above the wound. Um, first step is to pull the band. You want to go as tight as you possibly can. That's probably the number one mistake people make. So you get as tight as you can. Um, put the band around and don't let it go past the clip. Okay. So you want to twist the windless rod until bleeding stops going yeah the lights are off then you'll put the remaining of the band in there and write the time so this tells the surgeons at the hospital what time you applied the tourniquet so they know how long it's been on for and so on thursday people can just drop in you'll teach them how to do exactly that that's correct yeah wow and and, uh, do you have to make an appointment or is it just drop in Uh, it's drop in Okay. Awesome. Mike, thank you so much for your time, my good man. You're welcome. Oh, my gosh. It's an incredible program here inside the Prisma Health System. So make sure you head here on Thursday and give it a try. It is happening, of course, from 10 to 2. I had to read that paper first. Um, But this is really life-saving stuff for the entire family. Yeah, I mean, this is one of those things that we don't think about Mm -hmm. needing, perhaps, but it can be the difference between life and death, especially if you're waiting for emergency responders to get to a scene. And and it's just such an important life skill. Yeah, got to have it. Joe, thanks so much. Uh, We'll be checking back in a little bit.